Hey, what's up? I'm Sam from AI for Marketers, and today we're gonna learn how to design using design. Design the software tool, not like design like designing, but we are gonna design. So buckle up, because if you watch this tutorial, dude, you're gonna become an expert using this amazing, super cool new interface. And by the way, that means creating these cool new images that I just made in the tutorial. You're gonna learn how to do them for yourself. So yes, my boy, my girl, let's go to the interface. So let me tell you guys a little bit about design so that people that, you know, don't know what this tool actually does understand what we're going to do here in this tutorial. Design, in my opinion, is one of the best AI interfaces out there. Meaning there's a lot of AI companies and image generators like Midjourney, Playground, Ideogram, etc. The design probably, you know, competing with Leonardo AI is by far the easiest to use app out there to create the amazing, super cool images you want. So the way I would explain design is like man there's like a, an axis right you have how beautiful the interfaces are and how easy to use are them and then you have the quality of the model like how good are those generations in my opinion flux is actually the best ai image generator but it's not easy to use at all like for us to use flux you have to use two or more softwares right so i would put it like there right but then we have things like mid journey which are great and kind of difficult to use but cool cool enough so that people can just play with it but i would put design in the top right corner it is an amazing interface it is extremely intuitive and also the generations are great so what we're gonna do here is dive in into this amazing app that is not complicated at all and we're gonna learn how to use it okay so what we see here in design right is all the amazing tools you can do the, of course you can use the api the tutorials the discord the uh, the pricing all of that we're not gonna go over here i just want to show you the actual things you can do with design and by the way props to the design team because like this interface is beautiful dude and it's extremely easy to use and you know in comparison to most ai softwares like design is just intuitive you sometimes don't even need to prompt the actual thing for it to to create something beautiful i'll show you guys and you'll understand what i mean in a second so these are the ai tools that we have here in design right we have image to image text to image is like typical image generation there and of course i, I wouldn't say design has the best text to image generator but what i do know is that the best interface for image to image is here you can also do editing like local edit um, insert object a ai eraser expand enhance face swap and even create product backgrounds all of those capabilities are also extremely easy to use and that's what i mean there's a lot of softwares that have those capabilities too but for you to make that happen takes a lot of steps and a lot of knowledge so there's a lot of effort in creating amazing cool super easy to use interfaces so that people can just play with these amazing ai tools that's what i mean like everyone in open ai or cloud or like you know mid journey everyone like tells them they are the smartest ones and they're super cool they're advancing humanity a lot but you know the people that are creating these interfaces these cool products that most people can use deserve recognition dude because like if you create the smartest ai or the smartest tool and no one uses it or worse only the smartest people in the world use it and get richer and like you know no one has access to them because you made it too difficult to use it's like yeah you're kind of advancing humanity but you're not giving humans access to the tool so we should strive to create this type of beautiful products with props to, to the design team because like it, it looks beautiful and here that's not that obvious but you'll you'll know what i mean in a second when i show you the image to image canvas you can create your own styles by the way you have to buy the the premium subscription design is going to save your own styles for images and these ones are the most popular type of styles that people play with and like it's known that design's main product is changing from an image to creating a beautiful cartoon version of that same image and i'll show you how easy that process is you have the side library right design realistic b2 design 3d render apparently punk design anime realistic design cinematic etc 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 let's dive in now dude because like i want to show you okay let's go to the image to image okay so this is what i mean guys extremely intuitive beautiful interface where you can play with a lot of tools okay in the right sidebar is where the results are gonna be okay like where all of the generations are gonna show up the left sidebar like left left we have like the menu right 
we have text to image, image to video. By the way, the image to video is not that good yet. Uh, but for image to video, you can just go to runway, playing Polio, or even like Pika, right? It's by far the best interface. Like not even mid journey. With mid journey, you have to prompt a lot to get what you want. Here, you can just upload the thing. You select a new a new style of picture, and you can just create a new new version of your own creation. It is an amazing product. It's beautiful and useful. You can also see the AI editor, face kit, enhance and upscale, product background, and character. Okay, those are basically like the same canvas but with different applications. And this is where the magic happens, right? You have the canvas where you can like visualize the the entire thing that you're doing. Then here's where you can play a little bit with the tools, a little bit with the uh, with the AI. We have style intensity, structure match, color match, face match, high quality, and in the advanced tools, it's just the negative prompts and the signal. We're not gonna play with that too much here because honestly, this is much more than enough. And the best like thing that's the most useful is just the style intensity bar and the structure match bar by far. The fact that I can tell an AI, hey, I want this same same image with anime style and, and how level like how creative I want it to be super cool. We're gonna upload a cool image from my thumbnails. Uh -huh. By the way, I took 300 with a friend. I went to a friend's house. He lent me his, his camera and we took 300 pictures, right? 300 photos. And I only used three. <laughs> so sorry, dude. Sorry. I really like them. And I think you guys like them too. So let me know. Uploading images is uploading. What I want to do is basically create a cartoon version of, of that picture. It's not like the highest quality picture ever, but like it is a, a big picture. It's like 3000 pixels. So here's the deal. You, of course, can remove background, a cutout, crop, select an AI array like most image editors i think that's uh relatively simple what i want to show you guys is the ai capabilities okay so here's where the magic happens okay we can select select the style we want that image to be we're gonna play first with uh something super cool like let's try american story let's try that one with just create like say something like in in the prompt that is gonna make turn my image into that same image but in that style and even though that seems obvious and simple to to implement there's no other tool that has that capability and it's like a button right it's not something super complicated you're not creating an ai from the ground up this is just like a single implementation that makes the entire software easier to use beautiful super intuitive props to the team style intensity of course you know what that means how much do you want your generation to look like that i want a lot like the strongest thing and then we have a structure match structure match is really interesting okay they suggest this range but i've played a little bit with this this range here when i just want to just create a new version of my same picture but in like the style i want you know sometimes it it, it doesn't follow it that well but like we would put it here if you, you're just trying to change like styles but you just want to create the structure of course if you want the thing to be creative and and basically follow like the colors or something i would probably do it here but if you just want to create a new image from your image i would put it like quite strict okay color match you can leave that like normal or not it depends if you want the face match i would activate that i want to activate that and the high quality filter i always turn it on it's actually pretty new i think like they implemented that like three days ago or so let's run that i want to see what it generates okay submit it we're actually gonna color match too to see how it does it and maybe a little less style intensity to see what, how it does it and you can see the, the entire like all the the beautiful the beautiful generations are just just in the sidebar and you can play with them dude you'll see that it creates by the way it creates for each one and you can then edit them inside the actual software and by the way inside the same paid plan okay the the simple plan that gets you all of these tools and with mid journey you have to pay for the yearly subscription or something to just use like you know the main editor i honestly when i see these type of tools how efficient they are and how cool they are five people or so i don't know how how companies like photoshop or like adobe are gonna survive dude like once this thing gets big they can implement at this level like with you know with the resources of like a big company there's no way in hell that like company like Photoshop can compete with this um, creative geniuses, dude. This is like beautiful. Created a, a cool animation. This one was without the color match. So it created cool things. Oh, okay. The image shows a man with curly hair waving. That's pretty interesting, dude. He didn't tell that it needed to be the same, the same style. Oh, because we didn't select color match. Okay, okay. Wow. Look, that's an artwork. That's an art piece. That's literally an art piece, dude. Oh, dude. Wow. It seems like kind of crazy or something. I'm not that crazy. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I like this one. I think this one is actually kind of cool. This is what I mean. 
It looks beautiful. Like that's a piece of art itself. Beautiful. Let's change now a little bit. Let's do 3D rendering and let's now do ink realism. And let's now do this is what I meant, dude. Once you like you get excited about using a tool, it's just like what the fuck? The amount of things you can do is just crazy, right? And I want you guys to 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 try it and then text me like or like DM me or any social by the way. Follow me on all the socials if you like the, the tool. It's like honestly, right now it's it is kind of my favorite tool to be super 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 honest. Dude, this is so easy to use that this tutorial is basically to show you guys like the app i don't even feel that i need to do a tutorial this is like it's the most intuitive app ever you know what i mean look at those generations dude. what the fuck <laughs> guy looks yacked dude i'm not that yacked yet but i will be i will be soon let's fucking go i'm not kind of that yacked yet. well you know yeah sure no i don't like this one okay that one's pretty cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, that's kind of creepy. That's cool, 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 cool. Let's now uh, prop up style intensity and let's put a little bit less and generate. I want linear art, linear whimsy, and I also want to play a little bit with different. Oh, Cutie 3D. Oh, this one, this one, Kitty Palette. Oh, that one looks interesting. It's, it's like a drawing. Let's generate those. The amount of things I want to do with this app is just like not dude. I can literally create so many cool projects using this software okay 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 you okay 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 this is like the new generation this is like this style beautiful style that's pretty cool dude that's pretty fucking cool dude wow 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 let's try now a different uh style dreamy 3d i want to see that in pixar style and maybe let's try illustrating nostalgia too and see what it does with that wow okay that's interesting dude wow 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 Wow, that's just nuts, dude. That's just crazy, right? This one is just like, what the fuck? This one is just crazy. Dude. And this style nostalgia one. Let's try Majestic logo to see how it, what it does. Extremely cool, extremely, extremely cool. Um, bullish on this software. Like, what the fuck, right? It is creating amazing illustrations from basically no prompt. Maybe these ones are like too too much style inquisition, like style intensity. And that's why it looks like that. Try to go with the, uh, the style intensity like at a normal level. So it follows more your image than the actual style. But yeah, you know, you guys gotta have to let me know what, what you think of that. It's like, I think that's great, dude. Those are beautiful images. Wow, 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 I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Looks like an Andrew and the Warhol thing. Beautiful. Okay. Now I show you guys the first thing I wanted to show you is now play with this thing a little bit and show you the other features. Okay. Amazingly cool thing here. Can remove background and now I can play. Wow with that thing right let's remove background real quick remove background by the way if you don't use photoshop you can remove backgrounds here let's say i wanted to make a thumbnail you have here in ai8 there are all the things you can insert in your canvas so for example say i wanted to insert an object like the image right i could first upload a reference object so for example let's say i want to create a cyber truck because it's kind of a new concept it might not have like that much info about like a, a cyber truck so let's upload an an image of it okay okay let's add that as a reference we're gonna say add tire in, in cartoon style the object match has to be like balanced like we can use lasso brush or audio audio is just for the thing selecting where they want like the thing to to be the brush thing is just to paint where you want the thing to be the lasso is just to select where you want the thing to be what we're gonna do is brush okay brush it up like that and we want the cyber truck to be there let's generate that let's fucking go this is what i mean dude this is like an amazing software, right? We also need a background, guys, for, for this image. So what we're going to do is go to text to image right here. And we're going to ask it to do a super cool background office. Super cool background office. Textile colors should be pink to gradients, depth of image. Depth of image, smart prompt. Let's ask it to be, I want it to look like a desktop thing so we can like generate that for a background. And let's go now to our editor to see what it did with the objects generating. You can erase objects too and you can also generative expand uh, with this cool thing. Look at that. 
Isn't that amazing? Text to image now. Let's generate that super cool background because I need that background. Design realistic, maybe. Look at that, dude. Like literally a cyber truck, right? We're gonna grab that one. Yeah, probably grab that one. Let's grab that one. I know what I'm gonna do for a thumbnail. I hope you guys liked it. You already saw it because you're already pressing it. I'm creating that background. Cool. Okay, so that's cool. Let's uh, let's use that. The sound do that real quick. Oh, you don't even need to download it, dude. You can just use it. Wow, right? And then we send this to bring to front. We have like the beautiful, super cool canvas. Let's expand it like that. And there you fucking go, right, dude? That's an amazing thumbnail. I'm probably gonna just show this thumbnail to the, the two cool things. Yeah, I don't know which one, dude. But dude, that like that's amazing, right? We're we're learning how to use like all of these things. And by the way, you can also like say I wanted to erase the uh, the cyber truck. I just like generate and it will erase. It will understand what I'm trying to erase. You can also look at it something like you know if you want like a complicated like an area. Let's say that you want to like just tell it, hey, remove that like real quick. Cool. I don't know what it generated there, but like it looks cool. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to show you this amazing tool. I hope uh, you like it. I. I really like enjoy playing with it and i don't say that for all the ai tools that we, we review in this channel and we do tutorials on some of them i have to study them and i have to get involved with the tool uh, for me to to learn how to enjoy uh using it but with this one like i'm probably gonna replace i don't know dude I'm, i have to see because i'm not affiliated or, or i don't have like a partnership with design although i would love to if you're like someone in, in that company is watching this like reach out dude because i like, would love to you know make workflows with this amazing app because like it's beautiful it's super cool, super intuitive. I really liked it. I, I hope you guys liked it too. And I hope you learned something today. Uh, you can see another video of us there, like the best video for you and all the playlists, like, you know, all of our videos in this super cool playlist. So yes, see ya.